this car is getting kind of difficult to start, so it's a good time to check the battery's voltage. Turn your multimeter on volts DC, and if you have a basic multimeter like this, turn it on 20 volts DC. Put your black probe on the negative terminal first, and the red lead on the red positive terminal. And I have 12.4 volts. And that's kind of low, but okay for an old battery. However, since I just drove this car, the battery has been charging through the alternator. So right now it has surface charge. It's like a glass with beer and foam that looks full, but when the foam is gone, the glass is not so full anymore. So I've waited overnight to see what kind of voltage I get early in the morning. Always put your black lid on the negative terminal first to prevent sparking. It's much safer that way. And this morning I got 12 volts flat. And that's pretty bad. Now, even if you got more than 12 volts early in the morning, a better test would be under load while the engine is cranking. You can ask someone else to start the car while you watch the multimeter. Or you can attach it with the alligator clips like so. Then record a video to rewatch it later. I think the voltage dropped a little bit too low, so let's rewind and rewatch it. Nine point two volts DC was the lowest, and that's not good. You want to see at least nine point six while the engine is cranking. And the higher voltage that you see right now is the alternator charging the battery. So, $200 later, I have a new battery installed, and let's test it out to see how low the voltage will drop on the new battery. It's 12.9 right now, but let's see how low will it go. 10.8 volts was the lowest, and that's really good. Well, if you found this video informative, hit the like button, and thanks for watching.